Hi, my friends, and welcome to Reiki Without. Positive energy, flowing with Reiki energy, healing you from within, healing you through your heart, healing you through your uh, sacred chakra, healing you through your solar plex, healing you completely, healing you feeling warm, healing your seven layers of your aura. Healing with your seven chakras. And the six chakras in the back. Healing you. Send you love. Send you peace. Send you harmony. We live in tough times now. It's really a lot of, a lot of terrible things are happening around the planet, especially here in the United States. Bad weather. People losing their homes. We have to pray for these people. We have to help them. Help them mentally, physically, emotionally. They're, they have no homes. They have no place to go. They lost everything. It's so sad. But we can give them healing. With your power and my power, I can. we can engulf it. Right there, you're just watching it right now. We can send you healing. We can send you the light. We can send you positive healing. Those of you who have uh, significant others that have treated you bad and you have to force them out of your home or your apartment, you have to do that because they don't they don't they don't care about you and that's why you have to let them go. It's tough to let somebody go, but you can do it. Now, the rest of us, we have to cope with what's going on around us every day. The news is not helping you. Sometimes I can't watch the news. It's getting too, too the, the shootings in the school. It's like 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 the people who are doing all that, they, they lost their way. That they, something else is driving them to do the evil stuff. That's negative. That's bad. You don't do that. You know? We have to pray for those parents that lost their children. We have to pray for those adults that are gone, misguided misguided by the victim, the person that went in there and did all that. That's negative. That's bad. That's not good. That is, that's not how it's supposed to be. What happened to us? Why did we think the virus is doing this? Has it been something else and influence us? An influencer causing all this, stirring up trouble? We, we don't need that. We need peace and tranquility. I live in peace and tranquility and harmony. I black out everything outside. I don't. I can't live like that. It's, it's chaos, fighting in the stores, cursing, screaming, beating up each other. We look at work too. The same thing goes on there too. People are fighting. People that they're losing it. They're not thinking. They're not thinking. And all of you out there, you need peace. You need harmony. You stress. You have high anxiety. You can't take it anymore. You don't know. If a storm is going to come through, you don't know of a hurricane, a twister, or, or, or a tsunami, you know, a large, large huge wave. The, the planet is shifting. We need to stop what we're doing and be at peace and harmony. Stop all these wars. Stop these tyrants. These tyrants need to stop. What is the point of all this? Nothing. Shooting missiles. Trying to blow up each other. What's the point of it all? Chaos. Stress. The whole, everybody's going crazy. We need peace right now. We need peace in our lives. We need to heal. But we can send healing throughout the whole world. Hear me, world. Send you peace. Send you harmony. Send you love. This is not how it's meant to be. It means to be positive. Love thy neighbor. Help thy neighbor. Care about thy neighbor. Help each other. Don't hate anybody. You don't hate no one. You can't hate no one. You might not like them. Of course, that's negative, but you don't have nothing to do with them. Get them out of your lives. That's you get them out, you're getting the hate out of the your life, the bad out of your life. You're getting all those negative people out of your head, out of your mind, out of your heart, out of your soul, out of your house, out of your surroundings. You don't want people like that in your life. You want them to disappear out of your life, out of your being. They can live, 
but live the way they want to live. Not the way you want to live. You want to live in peace. You want to live in harmony. You want to live love, caring, understanding. That's what you want. You want love, caring, understanding. 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 Love, love, love. Love thy neighbor. Love yourself. Care. Let me take out the negative with the, with the lavender. Got to take this out. Too much negative. We don't need this. We don't need this in our lives. We want peace and harmony. Anxiety builds up. You don't know what's, what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen to me? Nothing's going to happen to you. You're all right. Stay at peace. Stay at harmony. Stay love. Understand. Care. Care. Try to help others if you can. If you can't, pray for them. Pray. Open up your minds. Open up your soul. Open up who you are inside. Open up everything. You got to do what's right. You got to make it happen. You got to make the peace in the world again. You have to make everything happen for a reason. You got to make it happen. You got to make the peace again. <sighs> The world is gone. But one day it will be better. I know this already. Yes, I can I can one of my abilities is I can pertain predict the future. But don't ask me what your future is, because I'm not gonna tell you. No. That that does harm to you, knowing what's gonna happen to you. But I can tell you what's going to happen in the future. But we had, it won't take until, what is it? A thousand years. A thousand, what is it? Thousand, was it 23? Seven, 37, 3,030. Used me 3,000. But what happened is things change now, causing effects in the future. That by 30, 30, 30, 30, it'll be peace and harmony. There won't be money, there won't be all this stuff because we, we're too materialistic. You're saying, how are you going to live? There'll be enough for everybody. There won't be homeless in the streets. That's unheard of. There shouldn't be any homeless in the street. Does that bother you when you're driving and you see homeless on the street? There's a lady, she's living in a on the bus stop. She made a little house at a bus stop. There's others out there doing the same thing. They need food. They need help. It's a shame. Some of them are really legit and some of them are not. You know, I had a guy come up to my villa one time. I was waiting in the line. My window was open. That's before the pandemic. I can smell the alcohol on him. Holy cow. Oof. Not good. The thing is this. Do what you can to help. I help people. I had, I had to cook food. Or I, I had to do a survey and I had to eat food. And you know, I give them what's left over. You know, I, I pull up. I go right on the highway. And I know right exit where they all are. And I say, here, this is for you. And they say, oh my God. They say, thank you very much. I did that at a gas station. I had baked a large, I call it a flying saucer chocolate cake, triple layer chocolate. I wasn't going to eat it. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with it. I gave it away. I said, here, here's a cake for you. And it was appreciated. I help. I help when I can. You should help to give them food. That way they don't take that money and buy booze and drugs. If they're hungry, they have a sign that says, I'm hungry. I need food. And that's what they need. Sure, you can give them money, but hopefully they'll help themselves. But you gotta 
help your, yourself to do help others. You have to get yourself back together. You have to just be who you were. And who you were inside. Your heart there. Cleanse your heart. Cleanse your aurora. Cleanse your being. Cleanse your chakras. Get them all spinning correctly. When you're out of balance and you feel wobbly and you feel like you want to faint, chakras are out of whack. You got to get your ground neutralized. I can slide on this right here, this massage table, which I use with healing others, and put myself in a state of trans, trans, you know, meditation. I mean, I mean, actually leave the body. That's what you have to do. This is some sit there or sit in a chair or lie down. You leave your body. You completely get your body completely still. And you leave the body and you float on top of your body. It feels good that way. That way you can your body can heal and you can heal your soul and your spirit. Yeah. That's powerful to find a way to do for everybody. But it can be done. Or oh, psychic blockages, removing that psychic negative energy that's around you. And a lot of you have to believe. Now, some of you have told me you don't believe in the Reiki, you don't believe in all this stuff. But sometimes the chanting and the music helps you because it clears your mind. It's like brain train and brain brainwave entrainment. It's alpha, beta, gamma, therma. It's delta, gamma, therma, gamma, beta. All of that that helps different frequencies. You know, you might say, "Oh, it's harsh," but it's not harsh. It helps your mind. Relax. Those of you who are stressed and have bipolar and schizophrenia and all that stuff, that's what you need. You need that that those different frequencies that helps relax you and put you in a state of mind, a state of peace and harmony and tranquility. But those of us who don't who don't have those conditions, we still need peace and harmony too. We need to be at peace. Caring. When I leave my, my dwelling and I go out, I can I can pick up on the negativity and the bad of the people, but I don't like the body. I'm in complete solitude. I say, excuse me. I said, like this old lady, she was trying to put something, she couldn't reach to the shelf. Did you need help? See, they're surprised that somebody would offer. I do that. That's how I'm raised. I'm raised to let the woman go first. Open the door. I had a woman tell me, oh, God bless you. Oh, my goodness. Where have you been? I've been right here. She said, a lot of men don't do this. Because they don't, they lost their way. You're at an elevator. Who goes in first? You or the women? The women go in first. Elevator door opens up. You're ready to leave. Who goes first? The women go first. That's why you men need to understand. We men need to let the women go first. I let them go first. I have to, When I work with a team, I said, whoa. Guys, stay back. Let the women come leave. And some women said, oh, you don't have to do that. Yes, we do. Open the door for them. Tuck the money in the sink. Give them a kiss when you bring, put them in your SUV or your vehicle. Open the door. You, you can buckle them up. Some women say, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I could do it myself. See, they lost their way. They don't understand what that is. They never had that. doesn't matter if you're a great guy, handsome guy, good-looking guy, maybe nice guy. You know? Some women don't like nice guys because they're too nice and they figure they're not going to be happy in their relationship. You know? The thing with that is you would be happy. But they're not the kind of man you're used to. And you want somebody more brutal. And I shouldn't say that, but it's true. You don't want guy nice because you figure the guy nice is not going to be fun in bed. He's going to be, you know, want to play cards or watch TV <clears throat> or, or do something else that you don't want to do. But you guys talk together. Okay. All right. Make sure the person you pick to be with is the person you want to be with. Don't pick somebody because he's too nice. And that's not what you're used to. You're used to aggressive behavior. Or you're used to violence. And violence is not good. But I can't... I can't... We can't change you. We can put you in the right direction. It's up to you to do the rest. Okay? Or cast a spell on you not to do these things. Yeah, that could happen. But what kind of, what kind of outcome that will be? That could be upside down. <clears throat> you take a locket of the hair of each individual... And you have to do a ritual. And that's supposed to bring it together. But don't do that for love. 
because it's, it's going to backfire. Something's going to happen. It's always something happened. It never works out the way it's supposed to be. So right now, if you're trying to get somebody out of your life, do it the normal way. Tell them to leave. Give them some time to leave. A week. I wouldn't give them too long because they'll never leave. If you want to bring somebody else in, then they're there. It's kind of, it's it's like, um, you feel uneasy. That's why to bring other people into your life from, you know, strangers, you know, you might talk them online and you finally meet. You still have to get to know them. It depends. It depends how the relationship online went before you met them in person. If you just talk back and forth and you really didn't share closeness, like, like falling asleep together. Even though you're not there, you just put the two cell phones together, and the cell phones are still on seven hours later. Mm -hmm. That's 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 a true that's true love right there. Even though you haven't met, because a lot of people don't give you that definition, they don't experience that. A lot of the scientists and a lot of people they don't understand all that stuff. Yeah, and all they know is, oh well, you know, you met them online, you talked, and how you know them? Well, how do you know them by sharing? Intimate times together. I'm talking about sex. I'm talking about spending time together. You guys can watch a movie together. You get a tripod and you put your cell phone and you sh and you can, you know, sit around her, them. You know, they might be not physical there, but their presence is there. Try it. But you don't do that. Don't worry about it. It's free, free to talk overseas. Mm -hmm. Facebook, WhatsApp. Couple apps, you know, or um, I think it's called Google Meeting or something now. They changed the name. It was called Google Do Rule. It's like you're calling them on the phone, but you don't have to pay for it. But like I said, if you want to get to know the person overseas, make sure you know them well. Make sure you have intimate moments with them. You should really be in their lives so you get to see everything they do. It doesn't, it's not about being needy, it's about understanding them. Take a deep breath. Release. Again. Release. Release. You have to bring in the fresh air into the body and push out the negative. That's what you're doing. Release. Release. I'm glad a lot of you have watched the video I released about my journey. My journey is not ended. My journey is beginning with you. It was the first time I'm doing all of this. I used to just post videos uh, about Reiki and Charmin and all this stuff. Now I'm sharing another side to you. We're doing spiritual cleaning. We did one before this. And this is the Reiki side of it. Okay? Non-aggressive. Reiki healing. Nothing else. You know, no other magical stuff. It's just Reiki healing. And me just talking to you. POV. Point of view. Just helping you out. Helping you relax. You got to... Let what's happening out there right now and push it to one side because this, you can't change it. Your leaders can't do nothing. They're gone. Most of them are old. When they, I don't say bring new people in because it might, new people are already corrupt. The thing is, those, the older ones, the ones that have been in it and know how to run countries and stuff, they're the best ones because they won't press that button or end it all. Those who are in other tyrants in other countries who don't really care about the people and spend a lot of money and never, and never help the people out and cause them everybody to be in the army or the navy or the military, you know, as a regime. I mean, right now we have, we got uh, Russia. Russia, now Russia, I was surprised how Russia looked today. It looks like America. And so does China too. They had they had the malls. They got the, like, the the ways we are here. They got they got the you know they got the entertainment. North Korea, no, it's not like that. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. South Korea, yeah. You know, the Middle East. Everybody get to get together. You know, can we all get together? What did the supreme being say? Everybody must love each other. If everybody lost the way, do the supreme being has to go back to the planet and teach everybody? Will anybody listen? That's the problem. Nobody's listening. Nobody, nobody's, nobody, everybody's doing the worst. Hey, there shouldn't be nobody out there taking a gun and you have to worry about your kids in school. You have to be worried about going out in the street. I have to watch myself all the time. Gotta watch. 
Don't have a blind. Don't close your eyes when you go into a store. Keep them open. Check what those exits are. What would happen if something happened? Hmm? What would you do? Yeah. It's tough today. I'm just letting you know what's happening. There's no sense hiding this stuff. This stuff is real. And to heal you, I need to, need to let you know what's going on outside. So, again, I'm going to send you healing. I already did it in the beginning. I'm going to send you protection shield. And the shield's only good for every time you watch this episode. Um, yeah, well, it's not permanent. It's just going to protect you. You have to watch this video over and over again to get the shield. Nobody can promise you other than that. It doesn't work with, unless you do magic. But I'm sending you protection shield. Protect your mind, your physical body, your heart, your gut, who you are, and your soul inside. That's what I'm protecting. I'm protecting that from all the negative. Don't watch news and they talk about shootings and stuff don't do that because that's negative and you that weakens you you weaken your layers of your aurora and go into your chakras and get out of whack you have to watch this video to get out of it you say oh my god i feel bad you're gonna feel like you're gonna cry because negative energy has hit you something was said it was negative they tell you hey don't watch this some some pictures some video might be disturbing that's negative videos do you need to know what happened no. You know it happened. It's all over the place. You've got to be careful. Watch these videos. They're here to help you. This video is just general purpose. The continuation of my journey to you. To heal you. From mentally, physically, emotionally. Okay, and stress really. And schizophrenic, bipolar. All the ailments that help, that disturb the mind. I want you to feel good and clean and feel happy, at ease and peace with yourself. Take this moment and think about what I just said. Now. The glowing green light on top of your crown chakra. Hold it there. Deep breath. Let it go down to your third eye. Take a deep breath. Let it go down. Throat chakra. Take a deep breath. Go down there. Heart chakra. Solar plexus. Sacred chakra, root chakra, down to the ground, hold it there, push it down, to the, out to the floor, send the clean, fresh air right through your body, right through your head, right through, through your heel. Heal you. Peace to you. Bye for now. Shante.